Hello, this is Spooky Millipede of the Spooky Nation, brought to you by my fan again. Who wants me to make gaming videos again? And I shall do it, because who wouldn't want to watch my randomness of playing games? Even though I don't play them in order, I don't play them in parts, I just play a video game and I post it on the internet and call that a video. I don't even edit it, I just go along with it. See, that's, the mix, that was, bah, that's what makes me unique. I don't edit my videos, I just go along with the flow. Because, you know, you want to edit your video and make it perfect. Well, my videos are perfect the way I make them. So let's begin. I don't have PlayStation Plus, so we're just going to play offline battles. We're going to do Walker Assault, and we're going to do Walker Assault on one of my favorite planets in the entire Star Wars series, Hoth. Hoth, who wouldn't want to play it on Hoth? And we're going to play it on, uh, let's say normal. Yeah, we'll play it on normal. No, not normal, hard. Nope. Oh, but no, I, I cannot play it like that. There we go, much better. Now, of course, I won't be able to finish the match within the uh, time frame here. So when the video cuts off, the video cuts off. Come on. Come on. I want to shoot at some rebel scum. And yes, that's right. I'm going to play as the Empire. Because who wouldn't want to play as the Imperials? Because we all truly know here that the rebels are bad people and that the Empire is doing it for the glory of the galaxy. Come on! I only have 10 minutes of recording equipment here. Come on, hurry up. Ah, uh, half the video is just gonna be a loading screen of a snow speeder. All right, here we go. Let's go kill some rebel scum. And uh, I haven't played this game in forever, so we're gonna use a rifle that I had re I found and I like. The EE-4. Oh, okay, I got the right one. All right, now. Let's do this, everybody. Focus assault on uplink station. I'm gonna play in third person because that's the true way you play Battlefront. You don't play the first. Of the uplink station. Must shut it down to stop a Y-wing bomber attack. Oh, there's some rebels down there in the ridge line. There's rebel pile, not rebel pile, rebel soldier. Ah. Got him. Well, I didn't get him, but yeah. There we go. Oh, man. A rebel bomber locked onto our walker. Oh, ma. <laughs> oh. We must deactivate it in order to oh, stop man. oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh no. I got shot in the back. Oh! Boom. Ah, I forgot how to crouch. I think it's right analog. Well, we're gonna switch to a different weapon instead, because, yeah, I really, I can't use that. I'm gonna use, where'd you go? Where are you at? Oh, here you are. The TL-50 heavy repeater. Now, the thing I like about this gun, uh, I switched to first person on accident uh, when I, this update came out for Battlefront. Oh man, gosh. And I had found out that it's the Heavy Blaster Repeater Rifle from Star Wars uh, Jedi Outcast. And uh, Jedi Academy. I don't know if it was in the first one or not. I never played the first one. But when I saw that this gun was in here, I had died a little inside. And then when I also saw the uh, Briar Pistol, because I remember using that thing as Kyle Katarn on Jedi Outcast back on the first level with Jan and the uh, Stun Baton. Now, if that was weapon, if the Stun Baton ever somehow could be put in this game, that would make my day. Alrighty. Oh my. Oh, that's not gonna hit any of them, but you know, it's worth a shot to kill them. Ah, come on. See, the thing I hit about playing with AI, okay, yeah, it was right analog. Uh, I hate playing with AI 
is uh, the fact that the AI have that shield, like all of them have that, uh, have that shield power up, and that shield power up is the worst, worst thing in existence. And I just not realized I haven't been playing the objective. I better go do that. No! Oh, come on! Ah, I just got to the objective. Dag on Zabrak. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, man. I can't climb. Oh, excuse me. I didn't mean to burp. Oh. Are you kidding me, man? I know how they run up to him, but you know, I don't want to do that with the uh, rebel being nearby. There you go. Dirty man. Uh, I have recently seen the uh, trailer for the second Red Dead Redemption. And that uh, looks like it's going to be a really fun game. I remember playing the original one so many years ago. It was one of my favorite games. I played the campaign about six times and I made it to a, uh, I forgot what that was, like, like a legend or something? I can't remember. But I made it to like the second or third legend. Really, really fun. Really fun game. I hope the, the newest one that's set during the American Civil War, even though I know it probably wouldn't be. But if it's set during uh, one of those timelines, about uh, shortly during, during the American Civil War, or shortly after, it would be a really interesting timeline. Especially with the multiplayer. If the multiplayer is kind of like GTA V with uh, the heists and the uh, ability to buy clothing, like your own pair of clothing, instead of having like a uh, preset uh, you know, character model, that would make the game the most perfect thing in ex existence. Because then I would, uh, I would form up a uh, union army unit all on uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, or I would form up a uh, Confederate unit, or even a uh, lawman unit to uh, uphold the justice of uh, the county that I portray in, or in the entire map. Now you're probably going to be asking me or wondering why right now I'm not doing instead of uh, well playing instead of playing uh, Battlefield One of why I'm not playing Battlefront. Uh, I do. I'm not a big fan of Battlefield anymore, especially after uh, Battlefield One. I played the beta on the computer, and I liked it. But as I kept playing it, yes, I I, I, I get it, it's a video game. But I if I want to play something World War One related, I would play for Done uh, or any other World War One game that's somewhere around it. I don't like how it portrays in Battlefield 1 about the First World War. People running around with submachine guns that were barely ever even used or never even existed as compared to the uh, semi-automatic rifles of the time or bolt action rifles. But that's just my two cents. I'd rather play for done. That's on the PlayStation and on PC. So if you if you want if you're interested in anything World War 1 related for shooting Get bird on. It's more, uh, it's more gruesome, but it's more realistic than. And I keep realizing I'm not playing the objective. I'm just a chatterbox. I haven't really done a video game in forever. A video game video. All right, we're gonna keep moving up. Let's try to get to the objective, because this is kind of sad if I lose the AI. But man, these AI are tough. I put it on I put it on hard for a reason as well. Oh no, you don't. Ugh. Nope. Ah, oh, come on. Me and Dax killed each other. What a shame. 